In this video I'll be showing you how to do a disk to disk copy using Clonezilla. So this is great if you've bought a new hard drive for your computer and you'll transfer all the data from your old drive to the new one and it'll work whether you're using Windows or Linux, Mac maybe as well, I don't know, I've not tried that before. The stipulation with this is that your new drive has got to be equal to or greater than in size to your old one. It doesn't work if you bought a smaller drive and trying to copy the data that way. Uh, sort of ways you could fudge it through, like um, reduce the partition size using something like gparted, and then do a partition backup and restore in Clonezilla. Uh, that's quite complicated and I'm not going to do that one right now. So, for the purposes of recording I'm doing it using the virtual machine. So I've got the old hard drive there, which is 28 gig, and the new drive, which is 80 gig. In the CD drive, is the Clonezilla disk. Now download for Clonezilla is in the description below. You can write Clonezilla to a USB disk using a program called Unit Bootin. Oh, don't worry about the errors there, that's because it's working in a virtual machine, not a real machine. Right, so I choose the language first, so I'll just press enter on English. Then don't touch key map, press enter again and then enter for the third time to start Clonezilla. Right, now this time I want to select device to device, work directly from a disk or partition to a disk or partition. Yes, press enter. Now we'll take the expert option. Beginners only fine if you're copying to an equal size disk. Right, disk to local disk. Yep, because we've got two disks in the same machine, so both connected via SATA or IDE. Right, local disk as source, yep, the 30 gig one. And then disk as target, yep, that one. And you can leave these as they are. Now yes, yeah, so we need to skip checking or repairing the source file system. Absolutely must do this if you're using Windows or an NTFS drive. Linux is optional, but if you've got any problems, you might as well repair it from the operating system. Now because the new drive is slightly larger, what we need to do is create partition table proportionately. Okay for MBR format, not GPT, so the old style master boot record format, not the GUID partition table. If you've got a newer drive, then what you'll have to do is just go through later with something like gparted and manually resize the partitions. Okay, we'll carry on there, press enter to continue. So yes, we want to continue. Once again, another warning, yep, carry on. All right, that's fine, yes. And yep. So that's it, we'll uh, let it carry on. So sorry about the extra road noise in this video. All of a sudden, summer has hit the UK. So I've had to leave the window open doing this. It'll be too hot otherwise. Anyway, I'll skip through this bit and we'll see how it looks at the end of it. Right, so I've gone ahead and removed the old smaller drive. So now we're booting into the new drive and see how it looks. A good start, we've booted into it. Let's just have a look in the file manager and check the size of the drive. So that's right click on home, properties, and we'll see free space is now 65 gig, which was a lot larger than the drive was earlier. Right, so that's how to do a disk to disk copy using Clonezilla. So thanks for watching, I'll see you later.